Well, uh, the uh, the board takes a 2716 part. Um, actually, it takes a 2708 part or a 2716 part. You can jumper the board to take either a either a 1K by 8 or a 2K by 8. So the 2716 is the 2K by 8. Um, so I looked at my junk box and I found um, I couldn't find any 2716s. So I found some um, 2732s and uh, they're basically pin compatible. Um, I'll show you how that works, but they're basically pin compatible. So we'll put them in the uh, put them in the eraser and turn it on. Oh, I'm gonna switch over here and yeah, get a get a green light. Anyway. Uh, it should take about 10 minutes or so, so I'll come back and see if they erased. All right, so we have a, a programmed part. It did erase correctly, and I and I programmed it. Um, I had a little bit of pro, a problem programming it. Um, it requires a 21 volt uh, programming voltage, which I needed to change. Uh, it defaults to something around 13 volts or something, 13, 13 and a half. Anyway, once I changed it to 21 volts, it programmed fine. So what did I program it to? Uh, let's see, I programmed it to this, um, which is 000C300. Um, so this is just a no op, no op, no op, a jump instruction back to zero. So this thing will just go round and round and round. And so um, that's what's inside the ROM. And uh, we will put the ROM in the board. But before we have it in the board, we have to make sure we have the board configured correctly. Uh, it can either use a 2708 or 2716. If you're using a 2716, you have to have these uh, jumpers set correctly. W2, W4, and W7 and 8. Uh, so what are they? Um, w... W4 and W2 are address decoding, so they need to be in their correct locations. And then the other one is um, changing the pinout of the IC since we're going to be using a uh, 2716. Uh, one of the address lines is pulled high. And one of the address lines uh, is, is routed over to A10, whereas previously the 2708 doesn't have A10, it only has A9. Um, so uh, we need to check to make sure our board is jumpered correctly. So let's see here. Let's look at W8 and W7. Let's see. This is... Oh, this is interesting. This is W4. Uh, W4. Let's look at W4. W4 should be set to A, D, and B, E. A, D, and B, E. So that's jumpered correctly. Um, so that's address space. Um, let's see. Where are our other... Here we go. Uh, this is W7 and W8. So W7 should be AD, and it is. And W8 should be AB, and it is. And what is this? This is W... What is that? Uh, I think that's something else. So we have W4 and we have W7 and 8. Now we need to look for W2. W2 needs to be A and B. Ah, oh, here it is. This is W2 and it's A and B. So this board was originally configured for, uh, for the correct uh, ROM, which I've just lost. Oh, man. <laughs> Where did, oh, here it is. All right, now we need to put this at address zero zero, and address zero zero is on the schematic here. This is zero 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 from. It is uh, A seventy nine. 
So A79 is this bottom one here, A79, A64, A51, and A. So it goes on the bottom one. Make sure the pinout's correct. There. So now we have a ROM. So this board should now run a program. Um, and we should be able to see it just cycle around if we put a logic analyzer or something on it. So, yeah, guess we'll have to give it a try.